Hey, Dan Cuccimilio here with NorCal Sports Network with another special video. And this one is on Juan Soto and his meetings that he's having in Los Angeles this week with several teams, including the San Francisco Giants. And we're going to talk about, do the San Francisco Giants have a shot at signing Juan Soto? Before we get started, I want to mention this uh, video is, is sponsored by Chapman Law Group. Check out Chapman Law Group in the video description of this ad, in the description, I should say, in this video. Check out Chapman Law Group and give them a call. They are a proud sponsor of NorCal Sports Network and let them know that NorCal Sports Network sent you. Again, Chapman Law Group. We thank them for our, them sponsoring this show. All right, guys, let's get right into it. John Heyman has reported that there are several teams, just a, really a handful of teams, that are looking to meet with Juan Soto. There's a mystery team as well. This was put out by um, Heyman in the New York Post. I'll pull up that article for you, and we'll take a look at that and see what uh, he's actually talking about. The Blue Jays could become a spoiler. Blue Jays could play spoiler in Yankees-Mets Juan Soto sweepstakes. Now, again, Juan Soto, or I should say John Heyman, writer, New York Post, very big on New York and saying that Spoiler between the Yankees and Mets. It could also be a few other teams as well. And we're going to talk about that. Do the Giants have a shot at signing Juan Soto? And I will give you what the article talks about. And then I will give you my thoughts on whether the Giants have a real legitimate shot at getting Juan Soto to become a San Francisco Giant. All right. In this article, it talks about the Blue Jays. The Blue Jays are very deep pocketed, loaded team, as are the Yankees and the Mets, of course, and the LA Dodgers and the Giants and a few other teams that can actually do this. But I think it really probably boils down to just a few of these teams. But as we look at this article with Juan Soto, look at this the Dodgers, oops, what happened there? We just lost a little bit of that. Okay. The Dodgers, Giants, and Red Sox, and two other mystery teams, one believed to be from a small market, are believed to be planning to join the Jays, Mets, Yankees on trips to Southern California to visit the 26-year-old superstar starting this week. The article further goes on to talk about that the Giants, who have tried Hard to land superstars via free agency and trade. Bryce Harper, Giancarlo Stanton, Aaron Judge, to name a few. And the Red Sox, who slipped in the standings after recently sitting out big free agency, are also seen as legit Soto players. So John Heyman is saying the Giants and these other teams are legit Soto players. The exact date for the visits are closely guarded secret, but the Yankees are believed to be scheduled for next Monday. Okay, and then he talks about the richest owner being Steve Cohen, who has close to $100 million in dead money coming off the books and a great resolve to continue their positive upswing following their surprise run to the NLCS are obviously a major player among the Elite Eight. Okay, so we're dealing with the Elite Eight here. Now let's get into this. I don't want to go over the whole article. you got to pretty much – Go on to X and read that yourself. Um, he does talk about at the end here, toward the end, the Jays along with the Giants tried to trade for Soto before the Yankees landed him at last year's winter meetings in a five-for-two deal that netted the Padres, Michael King, Drew Thorpe, Kyle Higashoka, and the catcher and two others. Look, the Giants just didn't have the the, the guys to trade for Soto. And, and that, that's really the facts behind the matter. The Giants tried to get <clears throat> Soto in the trade when he went from Washington to San Diego. 
and they didn't have the the horses, so to speak, to compete. I hate to break this to you guys, but the San Francisco Giants, <clears throat> it's going to take a long time for this team to be competitive, in my opinion. The San Francisco Giants minor league system is ranked at or near the bottom from many different uh, reporting agencies that report on these things. Bleacher Report has them ranked dead last. Most of the other minor league uh, rankings have them in the low 20s. I think about the highest is somewhere around 17, 18. The Giants just don't have the players, and they and they haven't developed players for several years. They have, you know, Elliot Ramos was a guy that I had been calling for for the better part of two years to, to give him a real shot. And I'm saying the same thing going into the 25 season. You better give Luis Matos a real shot. And I think Casey Schmidt deserves a shot. I, for one, was not super high on the Matt Chapman signing, not because I don't think Matt Chapman is a wonderful ball player. He's an excellent ball player. I don't think he's a great clutch hitter. He doesn't hit well with runners in scoring position. He strikes out too much, but he's one of the top third basemen ever to play the game, and he's a gold glover and a platinum gold glover winner. So Matt Chapman, and he's a winner as far as his attitude. I love his attitude. He comes to play hard every day. But the Giants, unless you're going to put many people around Matt Chapman, he's just not enough. And you blocked Casey Schmidt. And I think Casey Schmidt is an excellent third baseman, one of the best third basemen in the game defensively. And he's never really been given a shot to play third base with the San Francisco Giants. And by the way, Casey Schmidt, if you're watching this video, will be joining NorCal Sports on Wednesday night, 8 p.m. That's Wednesday night, November 13th. Casey Schmidt will be live on NorCal Sports Network. So make sure you watch NorCal Sports Network at 8 o'clock on Wednesday night to see Casey Schmidt, and you can ask him questions. He'll join us. Uh, he did it last year, and he'll join us again this year. So I look forward to Wednesday night, November 13th, 8 o'clock Pacific time, Casey Schmidt of the San Francisco Giants right here on NorCal Sports Network. Um, guys, I think the Giants are years away. And this is why I don't think they're going to land Juan Soto. Juan Soto, a lot of people think, well, he's just going to go to the highest bidder. I don't think the Giants outbid Steve Cohen of the New York Mets. And frankly, I don't think the Dodgers will be outbid by the Giants if the Dodgers find win, get win that Soto may become a Giant. They'll just step it up. I think this is a three-team race. I think it's the Yankees and Mets and the Dodgers. And I would not be surprised, as the article talks about, Toronto has the money, but I just don't know if Soto wants to go into that. The Dodgers are a perennial winner. The Yankees can be the same. Um, that short porch and right field in Yankee Stadium with Aaron Judge batting behind you, you're going to get to see a lot of good pitches. What kind of pitches are you going to see in San Francisco? Who's behind you in San Francisco? Maybe it's Elliot Ramos, but if you put Soto second, I mean, you're not going to put Chapman behind him. People will walk Soto to face Chapman, especially if it's a right-handed pitcher. So I'm not crazy about Juan Soto becoming a giant. Would I love to see Juan Soto become a San Francisco giant? Absolutely. But I don't think Juan Soto is going to come to the San Francisco Giants knowing that they really don't have what it takes to put a winning team on the field. 
Scott Boris, his agent, has already said he wants to be with a club who's with an owner that's committed to winning. Now, I think Buster Posey is going to be committed to winning. This is nothing against Buster Posey whatsoever. The problem is you don't have <laughs> the horses, so to speak. Look, Bill Belichick, all-time great coach. When Tom Brady left and and some of the other players around Brady were gone, Gronk and some of the other stars, what did the New England Patriots do? They lost a lot. It takes players, guys. It takes a lot of good players. And just bringing in Juan Soto is not going to be enough. And Juan Soto, you know, I don't think the ballpark scares him. He's hit well at Oracle Park. I just don't think the Giants have anybody to really bring in a Juan Soto where Juan Soto says, yeah, I'm going to come in and, you know, who's going to bat behind me? I'm going to get blocked. I'm going to get walked a lot because nobody's going to want to pitch to me. That's not what Juan Soto wants to sign up for. That's why I think he ends up either Mets, Yankees, or Dodgers. I don't have a bet in this. I really don't know exactly where he'll go, um, which team. If I were Juan Soto and I wanted to play – on the East Coast, I'm probably going to stay with the Yankees. But if I want to play on the West Coast and the money's pretty close, maybe the Giants offer 40, 50 million more than the LA Dodgers. I'm taking the money with the Dodgers because I'll make up that 40 to 50 easily in LA limelight. I'll make it up with endorsements, I'll make it up with playoff revenue probably World Series revenue. If Juan Soto signs with the LA Dodgers, he's got the chance in his, if he signs for 13 or 14 years, he's got the opportunity to win four or five World Series pretty easily, I would say. The Dodgers are just loaded and they're going to have great pitching. They're probably going to get Roki Sasaki. They're, they may have a shot at, well, I think when it comes to Max Fried, it's going to come down to the Dodgers or the Braves. I think he's staying with the Braves or he's going to sign with the Dodgers. If the Giants or if the if the Dodgers get Sasaki, it might give Lean Freed maybe a little bit toward the Braves because how much pitching do the Dodgers need or can they have? But if they don't get Sasaki, if Sasaki ends up going to the Padres, for example, or even possibly the Giants. You know, Max Fried's definitely going to be a Dodger. But it could end up where the Dodgers get both Sasaki and Max Fried. So if I'm Juan Soto, I would want to sign with a winning team. Because the money, how much is 650 or whatever this number comes out to be? Is 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 it really once you're talking 20, 30 million over a course of uh 13, 14 years. Let's take a look at the contract estimated for Juan Soto. According to Sport Track, Juan Soto should get an average annual salary of 36.7 million. That's 14 years, 513,000. I that number's way too too small. This number is going to be minimum in the sixes. OK, it's going to be a bidding war between the Yankees. It's going to get very much so between Hal Steinbrenner and Steve Cohen. And it's just going to keep going up and up and up. And if they get the Giants and Dodgers involved to try and bump it up even a little bit more, I think eventually he probably ends up with one of the New York teams. But I would not be surprised to actually see this number when this contract is all said and done, that somehow, some way, Scott Boris finds a way that it has a seven in front of it and that he beats Shohei Otani's all-time salary record of 700 million. That's 
my gut, my gut says this thing ends up with over a seven on in the front of it. Wouldn't even shock me <clears throat> when these things get going. They have a life of their own for this thing to even come in with an eight on top of it if they get creative. I don't know where it's going to end up, but I do not see Juan Soto signing with the San Francisco Giants. <clears throat> Sorry, Giants fans. I'm one of them with you. I don't see Juan Soto coming. The Giants <clears throat> could pay the money, and they could put an eight in front of it if they think that's what it would take. And if Juan Soto is purely driven by the money, he might take it. But I think when it comes down to it, if the Giants put the biggest number up there, Steve Cohen, Hal Steinbrenner, or Mark Walter and the L.A. Dodgers ownership group ponies up a little bit more and the Giants finish bridesmaids once again. So thanks for watching this video, everyone. If you uh, like it, make sure you hit the like and subscribe. We're growing. Please uh, do hit that like and subscribe button on this video. It really helps us out. We're growing, adding, we've added over 500 subs in just the last month and a half. So we are growing like crazy. Appreciate that. Give us your comments below. It would really, uh, we, we like to see your comments. So make sure you hit those comments down below in the section and uh, we try to respond to them. Tell us what you think of this video. Are we, do the Giants, you think the Giants are really going to get Juan Soto? You think the Mets, the Yankees, the Dodgers, or somebody else? Is there a mystery team? Is there a small market team? Is uh, it possible the Detroit Tigers, someone like that, who uh, maybe wants to put all the money out there? They, they've got the young guys coming. They got, they you know, who knows? Could be be interesting to see if there is a mystery team. Could the Padres be back in it? We'll see. But I don't think it will be the San Francisco Giants. If I'm wrong, I'll be the first one to admit it, and I'll be happy to admit that I'm wrong, and I'll uh, have egg on my face, so to speak. But I was betting. I'd say the Giants have a very, very small chance, probably – less than 2% chance of signing Juan Soto. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Really appreciate you taking the time to watch it. Make sure you like and subscribe and give us your comments. And don't forget, Wednesday night, November 13th, 8 p.m., right here on NorCal Sports Network, live with San Francisco Giants, Casey Schmidt on the show, joining us live. Take care, everyone.